Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable secure boot needed for Faceit. So, before we start, hurry up and check out the user offer just under this video. Let's get started. So, first things first is you want to access your settings. So, you want to go and click on the Windows icon at the bottom of your screen. Click on the settings button that you see here. Now, what we need to do next is you want to go to Windows Update at the Dev Panel. And you want to go ahead and look for the option here for Advanced uh, Options. Let's go and press on it. Now you want to look for the option for recovery. Let's go open up recovery. And we want to choose the option here that says advanced startup. So you want to go and click on restart now here and just wait for your PC to restart. Now once your PC reboots, this is what you should be seeing. Now you want to look for the option here for troubleshoot. So you want to go and choose troubleshoot. And on the next page, what you need to do is you want to go and choose the option that says advanced option. Now, under advanced option, you want to go and choose the UEFI firmware settings at the right side here. Press on it. And in here, you want to go and click on the restart button here to restart into your BIOS. Now, once your PC or laptop reboots into its BIOS, this is what it's going to look like. Now, depending on your model or what type of laptop you currently have, the steps may be different, but pretty much the same settings should be updated. So, you want to look for either security or uh, boot uh, tab here. So you want to go and access that and in here you want to go and look for the secure boot option now once you do see it you want to go and click or press on it and in here you want to go and choose the system mode here now you want to make sure that this one is enabled now once you've enabled this uh, you can go and click on the uh, exit button at the left side here now again you want to make sure that you enable secure boot first so make sure the system mode here is enabled once you click on exit this is what you should be seeing now, in here, you want to go and click on the save changes and exit at the very top here. And just confirm this by clicking yes. And you should be good. And you should no longer have problems on Faceit. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.